Abbey House of Horrors presents The Bloody Curse of Count Dracula. Well, Sir Godfrey, two holes in her neck. It would appear she's been bitten. Do you mean by a wolf, Burgomaster Budget? No, Countess Kenning. The teeth seem to be human. Oh, but what sort of a man could do that? A madman. You may recall that this has happened several times before in the village. I don't believe it's a madman, Burgomaster Budget. I have a theory in my mind, and to this end, I have summoned the assistance of an old friend and colleague. May I ask whom, Sir Godfrey? A man who has spent a lifetime probing the depths of the paranormal. Good heavens, who? An eminent German doctor. Hertz van Rental. <laughs> I'm cool as ever. What <laughs> <laughs> best wall is this house? Welcome, Hertz van Rental. Ah, uh, the years have not changed you, Godfrey Davis. <laughs> uh, no, you, van Rental. No, you. May I introduce the Countess Kenning? Charmed, Herr Fräulein. I see time has not changed Godfrey's eye for a beautiful lady. Uh, no, 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 that's our police chief, uh, Burgomaster Budget. <laughs> Say my apologies, Herr Fräulein. A misunderstanding. I accept your apologies. Now, I am most infused and anguished to see the body. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Why is the body sitting upright? This is Rosalind, our maid. Ah. Uh, the, the body's here, you see. <laughs> Strange. Her breath smells of garlic. <laughs> Why has she been bitten? Those are her feet. <laughs> Very interesting. Yes. I, uh, what is your opinion, Ben Rental? I think it's the work of a wolf. I have only one word to say to you. Yes. Nosferatu. What? The undead. <gasps> is it still as a night while all the villagers are asleep? She creep from town to town, flitting in the moonlight. What are you talking about? We are talking about Van Hyers. <laughs> Van Hyers? There are no such things as Van Hyers. An old wife's tale. Gentlemen, Herr Fräulein, you are questioning a legend. A legend that has been handed down from generation to generation. It is written in these old pages. Hmm. Looks... Authentic, doesn't it? Ancient? Yes, I think that's authentic. Oh, yellow with age. Mm, and they speak of Van Hyers. You'll find out all you want to know about Van Hyers in the yellow pages. <laughs> <laughs> well, we must destroy this creature at once before he strikes again. Precisely. I will begin my investigations immediately. We must ask every villager if they have noticed anything untoward. We have already done so, Van Rental. There is only one person who has encountered a strange man on the moors. Shall I bring him to me? It's a girl, Van Rental. She is but a simple shop girl. Rosalind, bring her to us. <laughs> I bid you treat her gently. She is of a nervous disposition. Nevertheless, free dramas have ways of making people talk. <laughs> ah, Van Rental, this is Avis. Good evening, Avis. <laughs> Why did you say on the moors? Don't really know. See, perhaps this will jog your memory. Am I hurting your arm? No. Am I hurting it now? No. Why not? It's not my arm. Now, Avis, calm down. No one is going to hurt you. Uh -oh. I want you to make your mind go blank. Uh -oh. Is that a Now, tell me, what did you see on the Morris? He was silhouetted against the moonlight. He was tall and he had a long cloak on and jet black hair. On his face? His face was funny. He had, like, his mouth was all white and he had fangs. Fangs? Fangs. You took a walk in the park. Fangs. You had a kiss in the dark. Fangs. It was a pale moonlight. Oh, oh. What about the night we cried? Fangs. Captain like... <laughs> Davis, that song has not been written yet. <laughs> I don't know what all the fuss is about. He only tried to kiss me. Where? Where? On my neck, neck. Oh, you're naked. This just means that Avis is a Van Hire too. Oh. She's having a breakdown. She needs RAC. RAC? Rest and comfort. Quick, take her over there. <laughs> we have no time to lose. Gentlemen, we are about to meet an old friend of mine, Count Dracula. <laughs> Where? Over there! Oh, sorry, I just 
lot. Stand aside, Batman! Why oh. shouldn't your bullets here, Bergen? I still leave him to me. You know, when they patriot, but it doesn't thank us. Just my luck, an atheist. <laughs> For years he has taken blood, and now we have taken his. Yes, I suppose you could say he's a blood donor. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get me a couple of tea and biscuits now? 